Hey, it's Rhonda from BewitchingKitchen.com and today I'm going to bring you my September favorites. I've been wanting to do, um, I guess, a vlog for a while where I recap my favorites of that month. So I'm going to start with my number one favorite. Everybody, this is Carl. Carl, this is everybody. Carl came into my life about four weeks ago. My husband woke me up at 6.30 in the morning and put a cat on me. And I was like, what's, what's going on? Uh, he had a call out at 5 in the morning. And he went out out of town. And in the middle of nowhere, off the side of the highway, was this kitten. And he, he wasn't quite sure what to do. But he was cold. He was hungry. So, and he just, he jumped right in my husband's truck. So it was, it was meant to be. And he was about probably a kilometer from any house, any, anything. And my husband figured he was probably dropped off on the side of the road. So we rescued Carl, took him to the vet that next day, found out he was healthy and he's been my baby since. Yes. We figure he's a Siamese. I did a little bit of research. I think he's a traditional Siamese because his face is a little bit rounder. He's not so, um, you know, like sleek in the face. And he's fitting in very well with this family. And he has brought, and look at his markings. Like he's kind of like a zebra and a little bit of a leopard there. Like he's, he's so cute. Um, He's brought me so much joy. He's brought, I've had a really, I've had a rough go these last, really this last year. Been struggling with some anxiety issues and there's been, there's just been a lot of personal problems. And he, for the first time in a long time, I feel better. And I, I think it's because of the cat. Like he's attacking me right now. But he is really sweet, I promise. Even though if you watched last week's video of me making stuffing and him, he jumped on my pants, climbed up jumped on the table, jumped on the tripod, knocked over my video being made. Little monster. All right, I'm gonna let him do his thing. Okay, jeez, he hurts. Those kitten teeth are so sharp. So my next thing is my shampoo and conditioner I've been using. I wanted to bring it and show it to you, but my son locked the door to that bathroom from the inside. He's outside, he closed the door. I can't get it open. So I'm gonna have to wait for my husband to come back, but this is it. It is the Joico Color Balance Purple Shampoo. Now I was using the other Joico shampoo and it's not like, and people said it's great and I wasn't finding much success with it. That was the other one I was using. But the Color Balance, the purple containers, I'm using the shampoo and conditioner and it's working really well. As you can tell, I'm in between uh, root touch-ups and my hair's been going really orange. It, it does that very easily. So. I'm always on the hunt for some purple shampoos, and this is the best one I've used. I am getting my roots done next week, so heaven knows I need it. But I recommend that purple shampoo. It's like you can kind of see it's almost frosty in some areas, so it's working really well. Um, my next thing I'm really happy, excited for is my blog design. Depending on when you read this, uh, or sorry, not read this, watch this. Depending on when you watch it, my blog might be designed, it might not be, but on October 3rd, my redesign is being launched. So in like, what, two, two, three days, I hired per design. I have seen the, the mock-ups and I am so, Carl, I am so excited. I am so excited. It's going to look so good. Um, they're probably going to be, per design is probably going to be on my favorites list for October too, but at least then I can share a screenshot and show you what it looks like. Uh, but yeah, if you head to the bewitchingkitchen.com right now, you'll you'll see it. Um, and you know what? I'm just gonna wrap this up because it, I don't want this video to be too long of me talking. Uh, I've been doing the wild rose cleanse, and that is another September favorite. Chili, my dog is trying to fight with my cat. Um, I was looking, actually, I wasn't even looking for a cleanse, but my friend Brittany was talking on the phone and she's telling me about this cleanse she does and she's saying how great she feels and so I originally just started with the meal plan I was just gonna do okay let's just you know cut out the wheat cut out the dairy the excess sugar and I failed the first day and I was like okay I need I need to buy something to keep me motivated I don't want to waste the money so I did buy the wild rose cleanse so this is what or the wild rose detox sorry this is what it comes with cleanse 
what's it? Cleanser herb, laxer herb. As you can imagine, that's what it does. Villa herb, and then these liquid drops called CL Herbal Extract. Um, again, you're cutting out those three things that I told you, dairy, wheat, um, excess sugar. You can't have fermented foods. You're supposed to do like 80% alkaline foods, 20% acidic. I'm not really following that to the T because I'm just eating what I can because it's, it's healthier. I'm not going to limit myself too much. Um, it's working really well. I've dropped about, I think I started this just about 151 and I'm 146.4 today. So, I mean, obviously eating the diet that I'm eating helps, but these supplements are helping. I'm finding I'm not as hungry and I'm doing really well with it. The laxa herb does what you think it's going to do. Um, obviously that's a lot of the weight loss. I'm not doing this for a weight loss. I know I'm probably going to gain a fair bit of it back after. That's usually what happens, especially when you're taking like a laxative style thing. Apparently this laxative is non-habit forming. It's herbal, whatever. But uh, you can Google some reviews on it. A lot of people have had a lot of success. I think mine ends on Friday. I think that's when I'm done. Today I'm making a turkey dinner and it's going to be really hard not to eat that stuffing. The video that I posted last week, I'm filming this on the same day, it's going to be really hard not to do it. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I am having a little bit of cravings. Um, the last couple days I've been wanting chocolate. Apparently you can have some dark chocolate, so I haven't tried that yet. I might do that tonight because I have company coming over and I know what's going to happen. They're all going to want Dairy Queen. It's my mom. We usually get Dairy Queen when she comes over. Um, and the only slip up, I don't even call it a slip up, that I've been having is I have been putting creamer in my coffee. So that's the story so far on the Wild Rose Detox. Um... I don't know if you want me to do maybe a video on my experience. Maybe I'll do it again in a couple months and maybe after New Year's or something and I'll um, vlog my experience. But this video is already what? Yeah, 824. I'm going to wrap this up. I know you guys are busy. I'm busy. But just want to give you guys my September favorites. And if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for purple shampoo, leave them in the comments. I really want to know. Okay. Have a great day.